another year, still into my neon beanies. So today we're going through my Amazon favorites of 2023. I have done this video, I think the last few years. So I'll have those linked down below if you want to know more Amazon favorites. So I went through all of my purchases of the year, looked through everything, looked through my Amazon favorites from the year. And these are like the standouts. Okay, wait, I just have to call out when I'm filming this. It's 1111 on January 11th. So Make wish everyone, that was a good wish, must say. I have an Amazon storefront which has all of my recommendations. If it's in my storefront, it's something that I love and recommend. And I have it all broken down by category. You can click on curations, which is kind of a new thing, which is just like a bigger grouping so you can easily find what you're looking for basically. If you do shop through my Amazon storefront or links down below, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Those are affiliate links, so I make a small commission. Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's start off with one of my top products because I've tried a lot of these makeup you know, light up kind of mirrors over the years, travel mirrors, like the little folding ones. This guy is my favorite because of how freaking high it goes. You don't have to like stare down like this at the table. You can look just straight on because of the height. It's nice and lightweight for travel, or you could just use this in your apartment or wherever, and it folds all the way down. It has the charging thing back here, it lights up, and it has different color temperatures and brightness. So if you're doing your makeup, in a place that doesn't have good natural light or it's nighttime you can turn on right here and then you just tap it to change the temperature but yeah the game changer is that it really goes super high and it stays up too it's not like falling down and it's a nice size razors literally just repurchase these the preserve shave five i have the pink razor these are nice and sharp usually i've like in the past i've gotten men's razors because i just feel like they work better i think these are made with like recycled plastic too but these are sharp they get a nice close shave they're lubricated on the back like they have that strip but they're not too much like i feel like venus and some of the popular razors brands it's just like too much slip and i don't get a close enough shave these are sharp they're great perfect my back bay earbuds i've gotten these as gifts for people that's how much i like them if you're someone who loves bass and you like it to be like very bassy i do have airpods but for music i do prefer these over them because the bass is so much better on these these are affordable they go on sale a lot fit my ear really well i will say the one thing that i don't love with these is that you have to disconnect it like before switching devices or else it'll automatically connect to the last device. So if you're someone who's using these on the computer and the phone and the iPad, just keep that in mind. It's nice with the AirPods because they automatically connect. This one you do have to go in and disconnect from the other device. I most often only use this with my phone because I'm listening to music. Worth it to me because the sound is so much better and they hold a good charge too. Next up, my hiking boots. I don't know if it's the blue laces or what, Whenever I'm wearing these out, I get complimented on my hiking boots. But besides that, besides them being cute, they do come in different colors. I have the tan and the blue, which is literally the little emoji twins. These are a great price for hiking boots. They are comfortable. I didn't even really have like a breaking in period with these where I got blisters or anything. They're just comfortable off the bat. I would say if you're going to do like a long hike, maybe do, you know, like a couple mile one first, just in case. But for me with these socks, which I pair it with super comfortable, good ankle support, don't slip. I hiked in these in Sedona where it's like very dirty and slippery and it was snowing and they were totally fine. If you need to go to affordable hiking boot, highly recommend. The Amazon item that single-handedly truly has changed my everyday life, and I'm not saying that lightly, this bud cap timer. Okay, it's not technically made for medication, I don't think. This is genius. I have to take muscle relaxants every four hours and before I would just try and like remember the time I last took it or it was just so annoying because I'd either be like setting alarms or forgetting to set the alarm and then not remembering the time. And when you're doing it every four hours, every single day, like the time just get kind of jumbled. This resets every time you screw it off and it starts counting up from zero. So it is so nice because I take it, I don't have to think about it. I look back, I usually can feel when it's worn off. I look, I check that it's been four hours, but it starts counting up and it's the best thing ever. Genius and I am forever indebted to whoever <laughs> invented this. I'm a wallet convert, okay? This is my favorite water bottle I think I've ever had. And when I first showed this on Instagram, I have never had so many messages about a water bottle where we're saying how amazing this bottle is. And yes, I couldn't agree more. So you can carry it by this or clip it, but it also snaps down as like a lock. You can pop the lid up and there's both a 
sip thing where you like a bigger opening where you can tilt it and drink like that or you can just sip it like this which is what i normally do because there's a straw so you can drink it both ways it keeps water really cold because it is insulated it fits in a most cars it fits in like the car thing also if you need two water bottles while the other one's like being washed you could always get two different colors and then change out the tops depending on like mix and match basically make your own color combo there's really cute colors of these on amazon and on target i'll have them both linked down below this is my favorite coffee discovery of the year slash I think in general I feel like this is the best tasting coffee to me it's the Chamberlain ground white the, I think it's the medium roast I've repurchased this so many times again it goes on sale a lot on Amazon I just think it has the best strong but not bitter taste I like to taste my coffee I like it to be strong but I don't like the taste of like Stumptown or Starbucks the black coffee is very bitter I'm gonna have the ground and the whole bean link down below so you can decide. Next up, my retinol pods, which I just finished another bottle of and I have another one coming right now. This is my favorite retinol I've tried because it feels like a mix of a serum and a facial oil. It's super moisturizing, it's not drying. I don't use retinol every single day. I use it about every other day, I wanna say. I love that they come in the little pods because A, it's great for travel. If you know you're gonna be on a five day trip or whatever, you could just pop five of the little capsules in a little baggie or a little container. You don't have to bring a whole big bottle of retinol. Also, I feel like it keeps it fresh because it's like encapsulated and it's perfectly proportioned out. So you just squeeze it on your face, rub it in, and you know you're getting like the right amount of retinol. This is one of the few where I feel like my skin hasn't freaked out with in the first few days i don't use it every single day and definitely at the beginning start with like once a week or once every five days and then you can like work your way up but because it's so moisturizing i never had that like freak out phase or a very dry like you can get with a lot of other retinols next up this curling iron so this curling iron you'll see almost every stylist i feel like now has this in their salons when i have is 1.25 inch it has a super long barrel, which is so nice because you're not wrapping the hair on itself, especially if you have longer hair. My hair doesn't snag with this one. It's so nice because my hair doesn't get caught in it. You can adjust the temperature. I just feel like it gives the perfect kind of curl. This is worth it in my opinion. I was kind of skeptical because it is pricier than any other curling iron I have. To me, it's worth it. I get, I get the hype with this one. Next up, this shapewear. So this I found because I was helping my friend for her wedding find the perfect shapewear for under her wedding dress and we had ordered a bunch of brands from Nordstrom from Amazon this one ended up being the winner it does such a good job of smoothing out the tummy area but also not pushing the fat other places <laughs> I feel like a lot of them will like push it up into your arm area this one just does a great job of smoothing out overall it's comfortable to the point where like you know shapewear shapewear so you're not gonna be feeling like you're in sweats or anything you're still gonna be compressed a little bit but like you can breathe through this one. It's not super uncomfortable. You don't feel like you're in like a corset or anything. I wear it under dresses and would recommend. This is my favorite cleansing balm, Discovery. I get it on Amazon. It's a Korean brand. It does go on sale on Amazon, which is great because it is on the pricier side. I've tried so many drugstore and high-end cleansing balms and this one to me does stand out. I think this does the best job of removing eye makeup out of any cleansing balm I've tried. It gets off the lash glue. It gets off waterproof mascara really well. It's like a thicker, it's not a lightweight cleansing balm. If you like a lightweight one, not this. My eyes don't burn I have sensitive eyes really like this one does a killer job of removing makeup you have to go in with the facial cleanser after a cleansing balm and this one i've repurchased probably i don't know maybe three times so far next up the sub-zero roll-on freeze i have tried so many of these over the years i've tried cbd ones ones from amazon there are a couple others that i like but i do feel like this one is the most <laughs> fiery it has cat's claw which i had never heard of but basically you roll i roll it on my neck or wherever i'm feeling pain it just makes it so you feel the cooling sensation rather than the pain as much. It's not, for me, it doesn't take anything away. It's just kind of like a distraction and leaves a nice, like really, really cooling kind of feel. It is stronger than some other ones I've tried. It has 3.9% natural menthol. I, I do put this on my temple sometimes, but just be careful because I've gotten it a little too close to my eyeballs at some points. This one I do have two of because I keep one in the car and then I also keep one in the house. These workout bands, these are great because they do not slip at all. They're nice, like thick material. I could just totally be super weak, but to me, the light one feels like 
pretty intense. I have the gray pack, it comes in different colors, but if you just need good at-home workout bands, this is what I do with YouTube videos. I put on that, do my squats and whatever with the bands. I like these so much more than the rubber ones. They're more comfortable on your skin. They're not slipping, they're nice and thick, like width-wise too. I am a bit of a pen snob. I love a thicker and like juicier kind of pen. This one by Pentel, it's the 1.0. I'll have it down below, love this. If you also like thick and juicy pens, let me know your recommendation down below. There's not much more I can say. Clicks up, clicks down, <laughs> writes really smooth, nice and black. It wouldn't be this video if I didn't mention my most worn yoga shorts. I've talked about these so much. I have, I think four different colors of these at this point. There's pockets on the side. Fits your phone perfectly when you're on a walk. You can put your keys in, whatever you need to. And I actually donated my other yoga shorts without pockets because now I, need pockets when I'm on a walk because where do you put your phone if not? They're such a nice fabric where they're a little bit on the thicker side. They have a nice like smoothing band at the top. Very flattering. They come in different lengths. I have the five inch inseam. I love them enough to have purchased four. So my favorite Amazon leggings, these ones right here. If you're short, they have 25 inch inseams available so they don't bunch up at the bottom. Again, nice and thick and smoothing on the waistband, nice material, they're on the thicker side. I don't like the thin like buttery ones as much. I like a little bit more of like a thicker material. These and my Abercrombie leggings are my most worn favorite leggings. This dress, I have it in red and black now. I originally got this for the holidays last year, like a year ago and I wore it again around the holidays this year, but I got the black because I love the fit of this so much. It is so flattering. I think it's the most flattering dress I own. I've worn it on dates. It just like, it hugs your body in the right spots. One of those dresses that I feel like very confident in. It has a nice sweater kind of material, but it's soft. I'm really particular with that kind of like the sweater thing. I don't want it to be scratchy at all. Oh, that was a good itch. This tripod, how often have I talked about this, but it slides all the way down like that. It has the remote for a remote button. It can fit in a tote bag really easily because of how tiny it is. It goes high. I feel like a lot of tripods I've had in the past don't go as high as this one. It goes all the way up. It's a great height and then this pops out twists. You can do it either way, depending on which way you run your phone. And then this expands to collagen powder. I need to repurchase this right now because I want my hair to grow. I want these layers to grow out. Collagen powder for me, I initially got for like joints to see if it made a difference, but the upside is that for me, it like really makes my hair grow. The blue one, that is the one I have been using. I like this brand too, not the collagen. I haven't tried the collagen yet, but I ordered that one. First of all, I love the packaging of this one, but I have a few other products from this brand and I am liking them. So this one I think is a little bit cheaper. I'll have both linked down below, but basically I just put a little spoonful in my coffee in the morning. I can't taste it at all. It dissolves well. You just have to mix it when it's like really hot and it'll dissolve totally fine. You can put it in tea, you can put it in your smoothie. These heels, which when I was just making my list last night for this video, they were on sale, on good sale. So hopefully they're still on sale when this video goes up. But these heels are so comfortable because they are platform. They have a big platform. So like the actual arch in your foot is not that intense. You know, they give you some height. They're nice and chunky and cute. I have the tan ones. When I finally move somewhere, I'm gonna order the black ones to have in my life too, because I like them that much. The size fives fit me. I'm usually a size four. These ones fit me well enough make your legs look good. This SD card reader for your phone is I think one of the coolest inventions. So basically you can pop an SD card from your camera directly in to your iPhone. It'll just open in your iPhone album. You select the ones you want to import. You hit import. It is so easy. You don't need any like external app before you would have to use like the Canon or Sony app, send it through Bluetooth. And it was just, it was annoying. Or you could do what I did, which is put it into your computer, then airdrop from your computer to your phone. This just like takes out an additional step. So if you're someone who uses a different camera to take your photos and you want to super easily import it, check that out. The birdie alarm. Unfortunately, this came into my life because I had a situation in a hotel in London, but ever since then I have been carrying around this safety is a personal safety alarm, but I also feel like you could use it if you're someone, like I got this for my grandma to take on walks and stuff because if she falls and she doesn't have a cell phone, so like no one's around, you can pull this. It's basically like a loud alarm and also it has this strobe light thing, so it flashes. You can put this on your keys. Basically the thought is if you're in a dangerous situation, pull this, you just pull the top out and hopefully it would scare someone off a little bit or at least like alarm them enough to the point where it would give you a few seconds to 
start booking it. Hopefully no one's in those situations, but it just feels good to like have on you. I wish I had had this or something like this when I was in the hotel situation. So it comes in different colors too, by the way. So you can get a nice cute little pink one or something. Best makeup wipes I found this year. Yes, I use the cleansing balm, but sometimes I'm too lazy. And if I am in bed, have a migraine, I like keep these by the bedside table and can just take it off right there. But these I love, I purchased these over any other makeup wipe now. I feel like they do the best job of removing makeup. They don't burn my eyes. Some of the wipes are too moist, I feel like, where it's almost like getting in your eye. These are great. One of my best sellers from the year, a lot of these were bestsellers, by the way, but two of the top ones are these insoles and I use them for very different, they're very different. One is completely flat and squishy. The other, it has an arch to it. So let's start off with the flat and squishy ones first. These I put in my white, flat, completely flat Nike Air Force Ones. I walk miles in those shoes. In the last couple years, through traveling. I have literally walked like five miles some days in certain places wearing these shoes the insoles make it that much more comfortable because it just adds like a little bit of gel squish to it you're not like walking on complete hard anymore if you have any kind of flat shoe like vans or if you don't need high arches in your shoes like your walking running shoes and you just want a little more squish i really like these they're not going to give any kind of support it's mostly just for like comfort and for adding that little bit of more like plushness to the bottom. The other insoles, these were a game changer for me because for years, I just always thought this was like normal. My feet burn. Like if I walk any more than a mile really, my arches and my heels and stuff would start burning. I found out about these because my dad had them and someone, some doctor or PT or something recommended these to him. You can get them on Amazon and just cut them down to fit your shoe. Make sure if you're like, new to insoles, I didn't realize this. You have to pull out the old insole. So pull out the insole that the shoe came with, cut these to shape, I cut it a little big because you don't want it to be too short or there's gonna be a gap in the shoe. For me, these add a lot of support. Protein powder, why does that word sound weird right now? Protein powder, that's right. I can't have whey, so I always try different forms of protein powder, pea protein, vegan protein. Egg white has been my favorite. I just put it in smoothies. I can't taste it at all in smoothies. It's very finely milled. So it doesn't get like that same kind of texture that a lot of protein powders can get. You can also use this in baking, like there's other uses for it. Personally, I like the unflavored one the best. I use a pretty decent amount in my smoothies. I don't measure, but I do like a couple of heaping spoonfuls. JV Coffee. So I know there's a few different brands of these. I haven't tried the Jolt one yet, but basically this is concentrated cold brew in a like tiny, tiny little bottle. And I think this could be useful for a few different scenarios. If you are someone who like camps or has an RV or you have a really tiny apartment, maybe you live in New York City, whatever, you have a tiny space and you don't wanna take up a lot of fridge room. This is great because the bottle is literally this big. It's just concentrated. So you put in a tiny, I think you put in like a teaspoon if I'm remembering, mix it up. You can have it hot or cold. I don't like it hot. I only like it in cold brew, but in cold brew to me, it has a nice taste to it. And if you're someone who buys like the, you know, bottles, of cold brew from the grocery store it is way cheaper to do this so i do want to try the jolt brand i think that's what or jot jolt to just to compare the taste but i do really like that so one that is everything i'm gonna have all these products linked down below but also put them in their own little category over on my amazon storefront so it's easy to find i hope if you try any of my recommendations that you like them like i always say you know, people have different preferences. Things work differently for different people, but these are these are my favorites. So I hope you like them too. Um, necklaces link down below. Beanie, if it's still available, link down below. My makeup today, what did I use? I used the Tarte Mauve Liner, Harry Para Zero Two Lip Gloss. I'm trying to remember what foundation I just used. I actually did a weird combo. I mixed the new Smashbox foundation, but I darkened it with a little bit of the Tula. Lashes are the Kiss ones, a little press on. I do have a 2023 beauty favorites video either coming or it's already up, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.